extra or different. We live and work and learn and teach, and it's already the second decade of the 21st century. So this is not something in addition to what you're already doing. This is what you're doing. 21st century this, 21st century that. A lot of people are completely sick and tired of hearing it because they're buzzwords. How can we go past this and really see that we are teaching and learning in the 21st century? That's just the way it is. Let's drop the 21st century. We don't need um, a school reform. We need new forms. And this is really what, uh, what this is about. Tell me, what does it mean to be educated for you? You're all educated, right? What does that mean? But in general, in general, when you, when you talk about an educated person, what, I mean, what's the first thing that comes to Someone mind? Someone who's continuing learning. Continuing learning. But if you're illiterate, you can read, read and write. And, write. and if you're illiterate, you can't do those two things. Okay? Does that have anything to do with what does it mean to be educated? Would you say that a person who doesn't know how to read or write is educated? Mm -hmm. Knowing how to filter information, knowing how to get to information, to, to analyze information, evaluate information, organize information, that's part of that literacy now how to go on Twitter, to filter those little tidbits of information. What if you don't know that? What if you don't know that it's out there? What if you don't know how to get to it? How, if you don't know how to evaluate it, are you still considered you're able to read and write? Or when I say I'm a blogger, they don't, a lot of people have nothing to imagine. They can't grasp what does that mean. When I say, I'm a writer, this suddenly makes sense. If you have a classroom blog, if you have student blogs, and your kids get really into it, you make this the hub. You make writers out of your kids. You make readers out of your kids. This is what blogging is about. It's not about that you can, that the technology tool, it's not. Think about after a school year, to make this and give to the kids, or have a new classroom as a, um, you know, as something I guess the non-techy ones they can still feel how the papers and smell the books and hear the paper turn. So um, you're a writer. You blog and 21. I have to tell you, their generation. And I'm saying generation because there's so many in-between generations now, has slipped through the cracks. Except my daughters because they have a wicked mom who knew it all. No. But they have slipped through the cracks. They started out with Zanga. Anybody remember Zanga? Zanga, Zanga? Then they went to MySpace. And now they ended up in Facebook. Their parents weren't there. Their, their, um, their teachers weren't there. Nobody knew what they were doing. And they did some pretty bad things. And they continue to do pretty bad things. But that's because nobody has helped them. Nobody knew. It's time for us to teach them. We want to play a game with you. It's called a mystery Skype call. Can I explain, Are you? Can I explain the rules to you? Here comes the rules, Mia. Here we go. Okay.